In this tutorial, we are going to review the interactive student edition of the Personal Math Trainer for Go Math. You can see we are at the login page for our Think Central account. Please note that students will use ClassLink to sign into Think Central. ClassLink is a single sign on that gives access to all of their applications, including Think Central. So let's log in and get started. I'm going to log in and we're going to reach our home page and you can see we have three different tabs. We have things to do, which is all of your assignments, your due dates and their status, a library of resources and a scores tab. When you click on my library, it will bring up all of the resources that your teachers have chosen for you. The scores section lists all of your completed assignments as well as the scores for them. You can filter your assignments by only test scores or only activity scores. You can also show all of your scores. When we look at things to do, all of the assignments that your teachers have posted for you will show up here. When they are completed, there will be a status icon that says done. So let's take a look at an assignment. We're going to click on this blue hyperlink and it will go into more details like instructions and due dates. And there will also be a status icon. This one we have not started yet. So let's click on the blue icon again and it will bring up a video tutorial of the lesson that we're going to learn. All of the, the video lessons are animated and there are five steps to them. You can click on the start button to begin. Hi there. We also have a few icons here to go over. We have a home button, a toolkit, a glossary, and you have an advanced button, a back button, as well as speakers and a keyboard. But you can watch the video and it will advance to each set. You can also use the orange next button to go she to the next to count section. How many apples she has. Here's a set of books. Let's count the books. So when you're ready to show your comprehension of the material, you're now going to practice with the personal math trainer. You're going to click on the orange whistle to complete the elaborate section. A new window will pop up and you will see that you have some problems to work through. You have some extra features as well. At the top of the page, we'll show you how many questions are in this lesson. You can either click on the number to advance, or you can click on the either forward arrow or back arrow to navigate. At the bottom of the page will tell you which question you're on as well. There is an audio button. Compare the number of counters in each set. As well as some extra features. You can view an example. You can view a video tutorial for some extra explanation. You can take a look at the textbook page in your student edition. There's also a, a glossary, a tool kit, and you can print out your lesson as well. So we're going to answer our questions. We're going to answer our questions, go on to the next question when we're ready. And then when we're finished, we're going to press turn it in. If you are not completed and you would like to return to your questions later, you can select save and close. Please make sure that you have finished all of your questions before you do turn in your assignment. Okay. Once you're done, you can go on to the evaluate section. Now try your homework on your own with the personal math trainer. It includes... So when you want to do the evaluate section, you're going to click on the red whistle. The evaluate section is similar to the elaborate section, except that there are more questions here. But again, you have the same features. You have the audio button. Count the cars. And you have your questions loaded at the top of the page. So you can keep on advancing to show all of the questions. This this set only has five questions, but if there were more than five, they would show up at the top when you continue to press the advanced arrow. And again, when you're finished, we're going to press turn it in. It will bring you back to your homepage and you can still see your assignments. 
We can take a look at our old assignments and we'll see that lesson 1.3 has a green check mark on it. And when we click on the blue hyperlink, it says completed. So let's go back and take a look at some of our other assignments. I'm going to again click on things to do and this will bring up our current assignments. We have our ISE student view. That's the lesson that we just went through. And we also have a personal math trainer homework assignment. So let's take a look at that. Okay, we can see here that we have started it, so it's already in progress. So I'm going to take a look at the link by clicking on it. And it's going to bring us to our home page. Just as with the interactive student edition lesson, when we begin an assignment, it will go over some of the icons and some quick references. And when you're ready to begin, you're going to press start. It will load and you'll see that it does look very similar to the ISE lesson. You have 12 questions in this assignment. Your assignments will always show the number of questions here. As you go through, again, you have an audio option. Five zebras. One walked away. Okay. You can fill in the blanks here. You can check your answer and then go on to the next question. You can continue to do that for the entirety of the assignment. Since there are 12 questions, we want to continue after question number five by advancing to the next page. This will take us to questions six through 10. And we're going to continue to add our answers. We can check them, we can view an example, or we can print it out if we needed to. I'm going to go ahead and continue on to the end of the selection by pressing fast forward, and this will bring us to our last two questions. If you need to save your work and close it out and come back to it later, you can select the save and close option. If you would like to turn it in, you're going to select turn it in. Do make sure that you've finished all of your questions. I'm receiving this notification that I have not, and it's going to ask me if I'm sure that I'm finished. Because this is a tutorial, I'm going to click yes so that I can show you that the status has changed. And you can see that now we have our status as completed. We can hit the back button if we want to take a look at more questions. Okay, here we have a lesson from our student edition. This is a little bit different because when we go through the, the lesson and finish the assignment, we're then going to hit done. Because this one is not interactive, when we hit done, it's going to send a notification to our teacher that we have finished the assignment. So let's take a look at lesson 1.2. This one does say in progress. If we did not start it yet, it would say not started. I'm gonna click on the link and it's going to bring me up to the interactive student edition. Now you can write down some of the problems. Here we have the model putting together, write your own edition story problem. So I'm going to write a story using the examples above and the concepts that we've learned. When I click on this check mark that says my notebook, I will save my notes and my answers to my student edition notebook. Okay. When I click on more on the left hand side of the screen, I can view my notebook. Okay. And it will show you the questions and the answers that you wrote down. Okay. And again, when you are finished, with your assignment in your student edition, you're going to select done. This will again notify your teacher that you've finished your assignment. So this has been the Think Central Personal Math Trainer tutorial. I hope this helps.